England, in the gallant days when history hung on the flight of an arrow or the slash of a sword, when feudal barons ravaged the countryside to live in pomp and splendor, when one man alone dared challenge the might of his country's oppressors, Robin Hood, outlaw of Sherwood Forest and his stalwart band, robbing the rich to feed the poor, ready to fight for king, for country, or for maiden fair. Now this forest is wide. It can shelter and clothe and feed a band of good determined men, good swordsmen, good archers, good fighters. Are you with me? It's Errol Flynn as Robin Hood, Olivia de Havilland as Maid Marian, Claude Rains, Basil Rathbone, and a cast of thousands, reliving history's most colorful adventure. I suppose you realize the penalty for killing a king's deer is death. Are there no exceptions? Will you come with me? To Sherwood. I have nothing to offer you but a life of hardship and danger, but we'd be together. Rupert, I love you, Robin. I'd come. Even the danger would mean nothing if you were with me. Let me ram those words down his throat, Your Highness. From this night on, I use every means in my power to fight you. Fight on set. Roll camera. Action. Do a run. Brilliant. Where the hell did you find this kid? He's the only schmuck who answered the ad. Really? Never thought I'd see Errol Flynn roaming these streets again. I have something that may be of interest to you. I've just come back from New Guinea. It's lined with gold. Every fool with a shovel scrambling for a piece. Man and woman. Full speed ahead! The sirens of the sea beckon. Your ship is sinking. The ocean rages. And your crew... <laughs> Dad, this is going to hurt a lot. Can you do that? Action! Shoot them all! Oh. Hello. You gonna suffer. gonna make you a star kid this was not an election this was a revolution this is retired lieutenant general mike flynn a one-time army intelligence officer whose loyalty to donald trump likely will catapult him to one of the most important jobs in the trump presidency he's now the top contender to be national security advisor this is probably the biggest election in our nation's history since bringing on George Washington when he decided not to be a king. Flynn is controversial in military circles after several jobs dealing with Middle East terrorism. In 2014, he was pushed out as head of the Pentagon's Defense Intelligence Agency. One official who served with Flynn at the time tells CNN there were ongoing tensions. Flynn wanted more authority. Wow. After forced retirement, Flynn appeared to change. Two senior military a, uh, officers who served uh, with him tell CNN. The they describe a somewhat bitter officer who adamantly believes President Obama isn't paying enough attention to the ISIS threat. We must regain our ability to truly crush our enemies. The question now? can he operate on a global scale? He's going to ex have to expand his skill set after a 30-plus year career of dealing primarily in the military element of national security. Flynn will have to work well with the rest of the Trump team. There's a whole lot of pieces of input that come into decision making rather than just the one you're providing. But ultimately, the new commander-in-chief 
will still set the tone in national security. But just what is Trump still trying to tell the Pentagon? We have great generals. You We're said you knew more generals. than the generals about ISIS. Uh, well, I, I'll be honest with you, I probably do, because look at the job they've done. Okay, look at the job they've done. They haven't done the job. And one other thing, not insignificant, President-elect Trump has vowed to increase the size and spending of the U.S. military, something that could come with a price tag of $500 billion over 10 years, all a very tall order.